Apple Advance here. Time to show you how to download GBA for iOS back again on your iOS 10 device or lower. If you guys want to enjoy the video, don't forget to drop that thumbs up down below if you haven't subscribed. As if this tutorial does not work for you, you know, it does work for you or it doesn't, you really should subscribe as I make tons of GBA for iOS videos, especially now for iOS 10 as I've now just updated to it. And so basically now I'm going to be focusing for you iOS 10 users out there because, you know, you know, at the end of the day, most people are going to have to at least at some point update to iOS 10. I know some people might stay on the 9.3.3, you know, jailbreak that they got from PP jailbreak or the PG client that got onto the app store or whatever. Obviously, people are going to stay on it and stuff like that. But for them, other people, they're going to update to iOS 10 at some point. And for you guys, you know, I'm updating to iOS 10 because, you know, we do leave behind the airplane trick, the date trick. But... At the same time, we are going in the step of more security and stuff like that. As, um, you know, obviously, that's an older version. Like, iOS 9 is going to become a older version. And, you know, more people and more people are just going to get onto iOS 10. So, might as well start making iOS 10 videos now. Now, also, I was said I was going to make an Indies for iOS video when iOS 10 drops. And basically, what I have to say is that I did find a method for iOS. I mean, NDS for iOS. And um, I was like, okay, so nobody has made a method on this. And really, nobody has made a method on this. And I'm just going to wait it out till iOS 10 drops and then upload the video. Turns out, by the time I'm iOS 10 drops and I make the video, it doesn't even work. So I looked online. Nobody actually made a video on NDS for iOS. So basically, Apple is starting to do research on their own. They're starting just to type it on, you know, Google NDS for iOS, iOS 10, you know, and they're trying to revoke them. They're trying to take it away, which is at the end of the day sad, but at the end of the day, we also love Apple. It's a love-hate relationship, okay? But um, that's why I'm here. I'm here to show you guys how to download GBA for iOS, and enough of my rambling, lest we go with today's tutorial. Now, first off, I'd just like to say I put a lot of work into my videos, so a simple like on this video would not hurt if you're signing to your um, YouTube account or anything like that. But basically, head over to the link in the description below, and it'll take you to the site right here. It's going to say install. Just go on and press install. And from here, it's going to redirect you to your settings application. Now, if you do not get this prompt on your screen, just click install one more time. As uh, sometimes it just redirects you to your settings application and actually messes up. So if you do get anything like that, that is why. But basically, it's going to say cancel or install. Go ahead and click install. Put in the password that belongs to your phone. Then click install one more time. Then it should actually start loading up, saying installing profile, and then it'll take you to this thing right here, and then from here, sometimes what it'll do is it'll take you back to your settings application, okay, and you know, you might cl click uh, click cancel, actually just install it one more time, because that is just something that it does to actually fully install. So just go in and repeat the process one more time when it actually redirects you again. And when you go back to your home screen, you should have this app called Zesty, I believe, that's how you pronounce it, I believe, um, download on your phone. So go ahead and uh, head over to the app that you just downloaded, it'll say configuring, blah, 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 but then it'll say home and packages on the top. Go ahead and click on packages, click on all applications. From here, you want to scroll down so you can find GB for iOS. It's not this one right here it's going to be this one right here and from here it's going to say tap here to install you just want to actually tap right where it says that so then it's going to ask you would you like to install gb for iOS go ahead and click install now like I said I was thinking killed the airplane method I believe so um and they killed the date trick um so obviously, you know, this is not going to take any of those two things. It's really just a direct download. But one thing you'll notice right off the bat when you're actually downloading this, if you still are here, then when you actually click on it, um, when you click download and stuff like that, and it has the app showing up, and it'll be a C-looking logo. It won't be the GBA for iOS logo. It'll just be like a C, uh, the, the letter C in the um, actual download thing. Do not sweat it. It's nothing crazy. It's just the actual, just this app. This is basically just how it downloads. I don't know why. I think that has to do with the actual creator of the site and stuff like that. And the actual GB5 West um, person who actually signed it and stuff like that. I think um, since his Twitter name starts with a C, that, um, that's why you know it loads up with a C-looking logo. But basically, you just want to give it some time. Give it time to actually download. For me, I have very slow internet, so it does take some time. But remember, guys, if it does not download, that just means it was revoked by Apple. So, you know, don't hate on me. Me. hate on Apple honestly because I do get a lot of people asking me you know telling me hey it doesn't work why do you why do you even make these videos if they don't work because I'm, I mean you're probably watching an old video that's probably why because you know at the end of the day Apple just hates us for these type of things 
But um, yeah, basically once you install it, you'll click on it, and it's going to say Untrusted Enterprise Developer. Go ahead and click Cancel, head over to Settings, and from Settings, you want to head over to General. From General, you want to scroll down once again until you can find Profile and Device Management. Once you find Profiles and Device, Man uh, Profiles and Device Management, you want to click on Asset Development. Click on that, click Trust, click Trust one more time, and there you go. You have access to GB for iOS back again on our iOS, no, oh wow, I almost said 9.3.5 device or lower. What I really mean is on your iOS 10 device or lower. Remember guys if you haven't subscribed go to sit right now if you haven't already dropped a like on this video go ahead and do so right now as each and every person who likes the video or even leaves a nice comment down below just it just really goes a long way with me but without further ado guys let's on this end this video off with iOS 10 has been released I mean I can't believe it myself and I bet you guys can't believe it uh, but yeah we've been all waiting for it and it's been released so yeah good luck with you before iOS enjoy it while you can and uh, yeah 